What is up guys, welcome back to my channel, GG4X, and on today's video, I'm going to be explaining exactly what not to do. Now this cost me loads, I've just <laughs> had to rebuild myself back up over the last week. If you remember from last week's video, I started my new strategy, this is the four, first full week of testing. It went great, and it went really bad, I'm going to break it down for you on my computer right now. So definitely take notes on this because it's very important. Bloody, look at my hair. Look at that, look like a crap jack from Titanic or something. I don't know, but God, I need the barbers to reopen. Damn quarantine. Right, let's dive into this video. So, what not to do. Now this is super, super important. I have rules, right? And I know if you guys are on the smart charts training, you're probably thinking, um, oh, don't need to worry about the news because the news is on the screen. As you can see here on the screen, it's telling me there is news coming up, or I can click on that icon button there and it tell me news current next high impact news is in two days. And I thought, you know, don't they say on smart charts, don't trade two hours before, don't trade two hours afterwards. Um, but that's about it. They don't really go into detail why, they just say avoid it. But that's only high impact news. What I'm about to show you is what happens when you don't look at any news because it might not be on a charts because it depends on what time frame you're on. Um, and also, it doesn't smart charts doesn't show you about medium medium impact news as well. I mean that can be just as effective as high impact news. Um, so I don't know what your strategies are if you if you use fundamentals for your advantage. If you're not, I'm purely analytics. I. I I can't look at the news, I don't get it, I can't predict it, I've not got that banker's mindset, I don't know how the banks run, I don't know how they work, I don't know what they look for, I don't know what scares them. Um, so I just try and stay out of it, but for some reason I was too excited about testing out my new strategy, because the first day went really well, I'll show you what's happened, obviously you guys are on my Instagram, you already know what's happened, you already got full details of my ins, my outs, what's gone right, what's gone wrong, so if you are interested in knowing that stuff, please Go follow me on Instagram because everything I do is on there straight away. So you're already up to date. But for those guys who haven't seen it, this is what this video is about. And I'm going to break it down into more details as well. So <laughs> let's have a look through my, through my, uh, my trading history. It went great. And then scary things happened. <laughs> okay. So right here from the 8th. This is my first day of testing. Let me just double check on the calendar. 8th, Monday, yep. 8th on a Monday. So this is my first day of testing out my new strategy. So obviously the, that Saturday I came up with a plan. I understood my ins, my outs, what I was going to do. And a couple of you guys have enjoyed that video, which is great. Um, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description, if I remember. I usually don't. But as you can see, I actually finished on a good day, you know. I had two losses, so minus 82 pounds, minus 78 pounds. Um, then I lost 80 pounds again, 79 pounds again, 79 pounds again, and that was it. And then I won 143, 152, 140, 136, 39, 75, 38. So these last three trades were towards the end of the day. I didn't want to hold them overnight. I don't want to have fees. I don't want to pay the swaps, any of that rubbish. I literally just want to get in, get out within a day. So overall, I've finished up on the profit. This is the best, most, even though I've lost more than I've won, I still came out with, I think it was like 300, 323 pound profit, roughly. You guys are either correct me this or just do the maths or whatever. And you were like, George, you can't count, whatever, you know, but I finished on a positive. I was like, yes, okay, this is good. My strategy is working. I've had the most profit I've ever had in a, in any smart charts history on my 5k account. 5k demo accounts. I was like, okay, this is working well. I'm super excited. I can't wait for tomorrow. Do it again. That's where things started going wrong. So, from the 9th, which is this minus 88 pounds here, to the 9th, which is at the plus 28 pounds there. So this is where it all went wrong, and I'm going to break it down for you, <laughs> okay? So I was super excited the day before, as I said, super profitable, even though I lost more, my 2 to 1 reward to risk ratio strategy works out, because obviously if I did the smart charts advised 1 to 1 reward to risk, I would have lost money, I would have been screwed, so 
I, was a new, I knew I was on the right path with that. But this is where I went wrong. There was news. And I didn't realize this until the day before. So I went on Forex Factory. Now, if you guys haven't been on Forex Factory before, I super recommend that you just, even though Smart Charts has built in, um, built in charts, built in news, uh, high impact news, you still need to have more information on medium impact. Because if you have a look at this, this is the ninth, right? We have medium impact news on the New Zealand dollar, the Australian dollar, and the pound. Now, if you look at smart charts on my trades at that time, on the 9th, pound NZD, NZD USD, Euro USD, pound USD, pound NZD, Euro NZD, uh, Euro AUD, and pound AUD, and cable US dollar card. US on a card, right? So I lost, what was that, Australian pair, Euro pair, Kiwi pair, Kiwi pair, dollar, Euro, Kiwi, Kiwi. And the news was Kiwi, Aussie, pound. So all the trades I placed had um, high or medium impact news on those same pairs and they all lost. So obviously my strategy doesn't work with the news. It might be different for you, but I'm telling you from my experience that whenever there's news on, I lose. That is just a fact. Like maybe the odd chance the news will go with my pre predicted direction. And I know a couple of you guys will probably say, well, why didn't you just wait? Well, because I work from eight in the morning till five o'clock at night, I put my trades on at 6 a.m. So I didn't really know how it's going to react. So I put the, the trade in of where I'd like to where I think it's going to go, so I'll put the take profit there. Um, I would put my entry where I want it to be, so if price hits it, it triggers great, and I put my stop loss, you know, um, with a one to two reward to risk ratio. So I can't wait for the news to come out to see how it's going to react to them place trades because I'm at work, I'm not looking at the charts all day, I can't do that, my strategy doesn't work. But the lesson here is... <laughs> When there's news, so first thing in the morning, I recommend get into this habit. Before you go on Spark Charts or whatever platform you're on, go on Forex Factory, it's free, you don't have to pay for anything. Click up here in the filter icon, and I just filtered high impact and medium impact. I'm not really bothered about anything else, and that is it. I clicked off, and then it gives me all the news. So this whole week is quite scary, the trade. If you look at this, look, on the month, on the Tuesday, sorry, you know, median impact on all the trades that failed. And then the next day, the US dollar, all high impact news. But this, this is where it gets interesting. So hopefully you're still watching this, but the high impact news isn't until mid afternoon and later on in the day. So as you can see here from half one, half past one in the afternoon, there's high impact news on the dollar on the CPI. So this is like really important. Like this is scary. Do not trade. So what I did, I still wanted to trade because I saw some great setups, but I made an agreement with myself saying, look, I'm going to set the trade at 6 a.m. My lunch at work, it's at half 12. So I'm going to go on the charts at half 12. If my trades have triggered or they haven't, or if they're open, I'm just going to pull the profits out and get out before half past one. And that is what happened. So if we look at the ninth, so do 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 no the tenth, sorry. The tenth, you know, six pound forty-nine. Obviously that trade just triggered and then got out of it straight away. I had a loss and then I had a take profit, so I already went in and then another small win and another small win right there. So obviously I had small wins because I ended the trade. I didn't let it run all day. I didn't let it run past half past one because I knew that I was probably going to lose being that it was high impact news on the, US, on the US dollar. And apparently I've heard that it affects all currencies, but it affects all currencies. So to play it doubly safe, I didn't actually uh, trade the US dollar that day at all, just to play it extra safe. So not only am I not trade, trading past the impact news of half past one for the US dollar. I was also trading different currencies to the US dollar as well. Just in case they got affected, 
I didn't want to do it, but as you can see here, it paid off. I finished, I think, 144 pound day. Could be wrong. Um, I don't want to do the maths right now, but I guess you can just take a screenshot and see how it is. Um, and then, what was kind of exciting, my friend, as I said before, we came up with a strategy together, Alex, I can say his name now. Um, he started out on the day, this is a little bonus, this isn't for like the high impact news. Obviously, uh, you guys right now, you need to understand that, yes, do not trade news. News will kill you. Well, unless that is part of your strategy, then fair enough, but it is not part of my strategy. What I want to get across to you is, <clears throat> just be cautious of the news. Go on Forex Factory, right? Go on Forex Factory. Look at what's coming up for the following week. Just prepare yourself. Is this high impact news on your favorite pairs? Just don't trade, walk away. Act like you're not a trader, just don't do it, all right? If it doesn't suit your strategy and you know every time there's news out and you lose, it's not worth taking a risk. There's always an opportunity the next day and then you can make more money. There's no point losing money like I did and then trying to get it back because on that day, I lost like 600 pounds. So not only did I lose all my profits from the day before, I also lost even more in my account and I've just managed to build it back up to where it was again after like four days, <clears throat> which is good. But on the, on the, on this last note of what is a little gem so far, Forex, there is some weird thing where I can't find my perfect setups. But when I traded indices for the first time, I'm saying, cause Alex said, look, I traded the UK 100. Um, and he made 82 pounds straight away in the morning. And I know Greg Secker as well, he likes to trade the indices with the breakfast breakout strategy. And I was like, clearly there's obviously better setups with indices. So I had a look, I traded the SOC stocks, something, the Japanese 225, the Jer 30, and something else. I don't know, I did four indice trades at like three, 3.30 in the afternoon because I finished work at three o'clock on a Friday. So this is a Friday, so this is the end of the trading week. So already I was kind of thinking, maybe it's not the best idea. And it was in the afternoon. So I was like, okay, it goes against everything I know about indices and when you should probably trade them. But I thought I'd try it out. So I did four trades and they all won. One of them hit take profit, one of, some of them got close and then it's getting to like half past seven at night. Around about eight o'clock-ish and I was like, I'm not holding these trades. Over the weekend, I'm getting out and I just cut the profits. Took the profits. So I did four trades with indices and technically they all won and all made a profit. So now I'm thinking, maybe I need to add more indices into my strategy. So I had a look through the whole list of what I've got and the setups are beautiful. Like when it comes down, as I explained in my strategy, I like the previous day on with the fib pivots to show a downwards trend and then I like a steady pull back to the next day's pivot point and then I do another short again so I'm looking for phase one steady pull back the phase two and then I'm getting in on the start of phase one again to the next resistance zone so that is super interesting so if you want me to make a video on my indices and what I'm looking for as well which is I think it's gold so my new strategy right now is what I'm thinking of is maybe indices first thing in the morning forex at lunchtime when the US market gets in and it's way more volatile and there's more movement, I think I'd rather do that. So in the season in the morning, Forex in the afternoon, and nothing at night because they always lose and I'm not paying fees. So guys, take my advice, please write notes, please look at Forex Factory, it's free. Filter, high impact news, medium impact news, and just see what's coming out today and avoid those roadblocks that you go, why did my trade lose? The perfect set was there and there's a random spike. My curse currency, <laughs> Alex knows this, and you guys probably know some about My curse, my absolute curse currency pair is the Swiss. I don't get on with it, Euro Swiss especially, but whenever I trade Swiss pairs, I lose within one candle, no matter what time, but it could be a five minute chart, 15 minute chart, four hour chart, it always hits my stop loss within one candle and it infuriates me so now i avoid at all costs let me know in the comment box below if you guys have a pair that just doesn't work for you no matter what no matter how you try no matter what conditions it always hits your stop loss so that'd be interesting to see guys anyway i hope you found value from this learn from my mistakes learn from my pain don't trade when there's high impact or medium impact news 
stay safe i'll see you in the next one